In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to populate different areas of a field by using an operation's attributes from a previous area, then make adjustments. We will use a center pivot field that is divided into separate areas, the irrigated center pivot and the surrounding dryland corners. Starting with the irrigated portion of the field, we will select the center and populate it with planting data. With the center portion populated with planting data, notice that if I click on one of the dryland corners, that the pick lists go blank, but then when I reselect the center portion, the data is repopulated. For the dryland corners, I simply want to keep the same data, but change the seeding rate. Instead of repopulating the entire operation for each section, simply hold down the shift key and click on one of the dryland corners. This will copy the pick list data from the center to the dryland corner. Next, unselect the center portion so that only the dryland corner is selected and change the seeding rate. If I click back and forth between the center and the corner, I can see that the information is changing for the seeding rate. If I need to change any other attributes, such as the company, or hybrid variety, those can also be made at this time. We will now populate the remaining dry land corners with the same planting operation as our top corners. Selecting the top section so its pick list is active, I'll hold the shift key down and click on the remaining corners to select them, which will copy the data from one corner to the next. If any further changes need to be made, I can make the edits for an individual selection. For example, I'm going to change the variety in the lower corner as a test to see if it performs better than the others. Click the corner so that it is the only area selected, then change the variety along with any other necessary data. Notice that if I hold the shift button and click on an area that has already been populated with different data, Summit will give me a warning and ask if I want to overwrite that data. When I click Save and assign a season, the planting operation for the center pivot is now recorded within Summit. If I go over to the maps view for this field, I see a layer that displays the different varieties. As explained within the maps tutorial, we can also change this map layer to display other data contained within its records, such as the various seeding rates.